I am going to attempt something new. It's now that I am working from home, like on a day-to-day -day basis, I have more freedom to, you know, do all the things that I want. And I want to try vlogging my everyday life for the month um, to show you the behind the scenes that goes behind my YouTube, coaching, this life. So I'm going to attempt to vlog whenever there's something worth vlogging and I'll see how it goes. I really hope I remember to vlog. Right now I'm just having my breakfast before I start my day. It is, what day it is today? It is Monday, June 3rd. I'll take this as the start of the month and we'll see where this vlog goes from this on. Alright, so it's been a productive day. I finished shooting two of my YouTube videos because of the weather I can't shoot more. It was like raining and thunder. And right now, I am just going to make chicken soup for dinner for Vivi and I. Usually, she's the one cooking for lunch. So I'll try to compensate by making dinner. I'm making a white pepper soup, which is like store bought tea bag stuff. Let's see, can I see? It's, uh, it's a public holiday here in Malaysia. It's Hari Raya and we have many guests in the house. Because if, if I haven't told you guys, my current housemate Vivi, she is a Twitch streamer. And everyone is here to like visit. There's Jessie, there's Lisa, there's Vivi. Today it's her schoolgirl <laughs> theme stream. And she's so, making what she making And today? she's making uh, Balinese chicken satay. Yeah, with the lemon broth and the chicken. <laughs> and there's everyone <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> Guys, say hi, you're in my vlog! <laughs> it's pretty busy day in my house. But I love, I love, love that me and my housemate, we're so like millennial in our job. I'm kind of taking a break because friends are here. I want to have, you know, talk to people and spending more time with them. I need to get back to work later. <laughs> but I'm so glad. Oh, I love, I love it, love it. When friends are here. <laughs> Indian noodles. I think that's what I call it. So good.
Social. Yes, we are going to the selfie museum. Um, it is closing in two days time, so like we wanted to like make sure we visit that place and take nice photos before it's closed. But okay, I think it's there. It is. It's so cute. Closing, I think yeah. it's worth the money. <laughs> but then, um, it, when they started off, they have, they give out free desserts, but they no longer have that. So that's uh, kind of sad. They're supposed to give us one Baskin Robin ice cream, but they but didn't. They give us chili sauce. They give us chili sauce though. Yeah, the tiny chili sauce that's very cute. But yeah, now off to go makan. getting her webcam and I'm just waiting. I'm very tempted to buy a new condenser mic for myself but I don't really need it yet. One day should I get started on podcasting? Got my gong cha. I'm happy. And we're home. Right now, I am going to shower. And then I'm going to start editing my video because I have a video due tonight. And I haven't started working yet. <laughs> oh, actually, to be fair, I kind of started this thing. I think I'm at 40% done. I still have 60% to get it done in 4 hours. I can do this! Hello, Dogo. Hi. <laughs> you and Jin. Kiss my chin toe. Le. He's so cute. So I am at the Curators Art Gallery. I just finished shooting my Girl Boss Chat of the week, uh, of the month video with Fei Fei Xiaoting. Fei Fei, say hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, there's a really cute dog here. I'm really glad with how everything turned out. By then, this vlog is up. You should be able to see that already. I love how we did it, but I'm not sure how the outcome is going to be like. There's still so much to learn for this whole interviewing thing, but I love it. But I just want to show you guys all the artwork that Xiao Ting did that I didn't get to share in my video. This is like one of the popular ones, Tun Mahade, our beloved Prime Minister over here. Xiao Ting, Fei Fei did this. And then you can see in detail, such an amazing art. And this is her too. This is her self-portrait. If you can see, she even has like tiny lines of her hair there. Just amazing. Oh yeah, let me show you my favorite one that's also quite recent. I love you, Tree Thousand. So much feels. It's a really cool art gallery here. It's just we move everything here because of our set. A few artists share this gallery shop here. So there's like lots of amazing artwork. But yeah, it's so inspiring to like be around so many artwork. Art, art is something that I love, but I never really had the courage or the chance to really get into it. Um, so it's it's nice to like be inspired by so many artists. Whee! So today I am going back to my hometown, and I'm very lucky because my friend Wanning over here, she oh. offered to drive me home. So I'm like just chilling in the car, I don't need to take the bus. I got my pie to eat and I got coffee.
coffee. I'm excited to go. Yeah. I am here. Juliet picked me up. We're having lunch now. Oh yeah, I need liquid paper. Where is it? Okay. Where is it? Yeah. I miss gro I, I miss stationery shopping. I haven't been doing this in a while. So one of my highlights in the month of June is that I learned to make my own milk beer and I've been drinking it almost every day since. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my kefir. What you'll need is full cream milk um, and the kefir grains. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. So these are the grains used and strained before so it's like wet and I just need to store it in the fridge and it's you know it stays forever they are live culture let me see them can you see it here yep so to get started you only need this to ferment them I think I have like about 500 ml left in this box um you need to put it in a glass bottle plastic bottle is not recommend it apparently like it's because plastic bottle is it's really easy um, it gets scratched really easily and so like apparently I, I don't know how it might contaminate your kefir you have to use a plastic spoon when you deal with your grains and I'm gonna put about two big spoons so now what you need to do is to just seal it with a cloth or like a paper towel, like what I'm doing and tie it with a rubber band so that um, I think the air can escape if there's any fermentation Okay, so what I like to do is like I'll fill a plate with water and then I would put the glass jar on it so that as it ferments, no ends would come into it um, Just put it in a dark corner and like, you know unaffected corner in your in your kitchen and leave it there ferment for about like 8 to 12 hours for your first round fermentation and then you know we're gonna come back to it later and I'll tell you how it works 
Good morning. So it's six in the morning on the next day. I passed out yesterday after I got home because I had a really long day. And it's actually okay to leave your kefir on for a longer period of time. Uh, I mean like as long as it's less than 24 hours, it's okay. This is how it looks like right now. It's really like, you know, fermented. It's slightly overdone. I usually don't wait till it's, you know, this much fermented. But I was too tired yesterday to want to handle with this thing. So right now, what I'm going to do is to actually strain the yeast out of the kefir and get into second fermentation. to sweeten it. Um, on default, the kefir tastes really sour. It has this really yeasty smell. So I usually like to leave it oops, I usually like to leave it for another like secondary fermentation after adding honey. Um, because it's just I don't know like I feel like it's still really yeasty right after you strained it. So I like to leave it on for like at least 12 hours before I drink it. Um, as for how much honey I put it in, honestly, I just eyeball it. So usually when it's done, you see there's the honey done there. So what I do, I just like, you know, shake it off, mix it, and put it into the fridge. <laughs> so that's how I make my milk kefir. Okay, so it is already like 20... Okay, what, what's the date today actually? Okay, so it's already June 26th and I've decided to just close up this vlog. Honestly, I'm still in my learning curve in making this entire vlog thing works. So let me know on the comment below if you like my vlog, what do you want to see more in this vlog and like, you know, yeah, like I, I need some feedback to know if you actually enjoy this thing. Because I'm working for myself right now, I have a lot of, I have more flexibility to do things that I like. Or like, you know, going out there, going to a cafe to work and stuff like that. And I really love it. So comment below if you want to see more of this like highlights of the month or if you want to see more of a day-to-day -day in the house routine kind of thing. I'm still trying to figure out this vlog thing. I honestly really like vlogging because like I feel like it gives me that personal touch with my audience, with you. Um, to see like how exactly my life is like be besides just like you know sitting there and teaching you about social media about business and stuff like that I hope you enjoyed this vlog and like you know that random kefir tutorial at the end um, Yeah, take care. I will see you in my video next week. Bye